So we're gonna open up my bag and see what's in it. This is Yola's uh, Pro Tour Elite bag, and I love it so much. It might be a little bit bigger than your bag, but I promise I could not fit everything that I need uh, to play tournaments or to teach uh, in, that, in that smaller backpack. So I love the size of this bag. Uh, first pocket, it's gonna be this one here. Got a nice ventilated shoe pocket. I love it, and I like keeping my slides in here. Uh, I wear these UFOs, absolutely love them. They're really comfy, they take, make you take a full step. Uh, they're marketed as recovery shoes, which is fantastic. I just wear them because they're comfortable. Um, I don't love wearing my tennis shoes to and from uh, tournaments or to and from the court. A, I don't want to wear them out any more than they already get worn out. And B, when they're tied on tight on your shoes for a long period of time, they kind of start to hurt after a while. Uh, so having some slides or even some extra comfy running shoes in your bag, I highly recommend. Let's start looking through these pockets here. First one I've got um, is some gloves. Uh, this is when I was playing and teaching outside. Although, once you start playing inside, you never want to play outside again, so careful. Um, you'll notice I only have left-handed gloves in here. That's because I refuse to wear a glove on my paddle hand. I want to feel that grip. I want to feel that paddle. So, nice little trick I learned from my tennis coach growing up. Cut a hole in a tube sock, and now you can put that paddle through the hole. Your hand stays warm, and you get to still hold your paddle. Absolutely love that. Uh, I've also got some extra pair of sunglasses in here. Not so helpful anymore that I'm playing inside, but always handy to have a pair of sunglasses. And this is cute. I'll give this to clients sometimes if they're getting a little bit scared of the ball. Uh, I wear glasses when I play too. Um, and it's nice to just have a little bit of layer of protection in front of your face. But if you've got that nice ready position, that paddle should be all the protection you need. Hopping into this other one, I've got my overgrips. Yay! I go through a lot of overgrips. I get them in bulk. I like these Yonic Super Graps. Um, it is grap, by the way, not grip. I didn't mispronounce that. Uh, nice and tacky. I love them. Other people like those Turna Grips, which are really good at sweat absorption. I just don't tend to like them. I've obviously got scissors. You need these to put on grips. You also need these to apply your lead tape, uh, which we might talk about a little bit later. Got some lead tape in there. And I've got a base grip as well. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there's two types of grips. There's base grips, which are the first uh, layer of grip that goes on your paddle. It's what every paddle comes with. And then over grips are a lot thinner. They're designed to be a lot more replaceable. Uh, and those go on top. We'll flip this over here, go in the next pocket. Oh, this one's my favorite. I have long hair, obviously. So I got a nice pink headband. Gotta go with pink, right? Real men wear pink. Uh, and this helps keep the hair out of my face. I've got, this is only half a joke, okay? Pickle juice. Yeah, pickleball, pickle juice, ha ha ha. Um, but it can help with cramping. Uh, if I'm ever playing uh, a long tournament or I start to feel those muscles get cramped up, um, I'll take a shot of this, although I don't love the taste. Um, I've got, oh, this is one of those sponges for carbon face paddles. You'll rub this on your paddle. You can clear off all the dirt, all the gunk that might uh, show up on that paddle. Always nice to have. Uh, I've got some snacks. I've got some trail mix, got some beef jerky. I've even got um, some fruit snacks and got a protein bar in here too. Always nice to have some snacks. Um, I really like the trail mix. That's probably my favorite. Protein bars are good too. Um, Always nice to have a few extra calories waiting in your bag. I've got some electrolytes. Always great to have some electrolytes. Throw those in your water. I think uh, if you don't know about electrolytes already, I'm not going to be the one to sell them to you. Uh, I've got ooh, a nice little Sharpie uh, just in case you need to write your initials on your balls. Always nice to write your initials. Never hurts to have a spare Sharpie. This one's cute. This is a little net checker. has the height of the net. I've actually yet to check the height of a net with it, uh, but I'm going to keep it in my bag because someone gave it to me as a gift. So thank you, Vicky. Uh, oh, this is cute. This is a little first server band. Anyone that's played tournaments knows what this is. I think you wear a little band. I just happened to keep one in my bag. I've got some Neosporin. Always nice to have, especially if you might get blisters. Uh, it's more for me if I kind of scrape my knee because my knee goes on that court, but nice to have in the bag. And, oh, this barely matters. Um, a few extra of these things. 
they go uh, on the top of your grip. They kind of keep the grip in place. Um, I have a few extras. And in here, ooh, extra pair of socks. Um, really nice, always nice to have an extra pair of socks. These are actually in there though, because I wear two pairs of socks when I play tournaments. Just give me a little extra cushion in there. Uh, but golly gee, socks get sweaty. Nice to have an extra pair on you. I've got, this is funny, glasses cleaner. I wear glasses, I'm not wearing them right now because the lights, uh, but I can clean off the glasses if they get dirty. And then I've got some kind of ace bandages. This one I wore around my quad, I had a little quad injury. Um, just in case anything starts to hurt, you can wrap it up. Always nice to have it with you. I used to wear those all the time. And this is, again, just some kind of pain gel to throw in something if it's hurting a little bit. I really don't use it all that often, but it's always nice to have if you need it. Finally, we're going to go to this nice big pocket and see, oh, before we do, got a nice little carabiner here. This is always nice to hang your bag up on the fence so it doesn't have to go on the ground. And of course, for those of us with long hair, great place to keep your hair ties. If we open up the big bag, ooh, this is invaluable. Got a nice big towel here. Gets super handy on those hot days when you're playing those tournaments. Wipe up that sweat. Um, I'll tell you a secret too, if you're playing a tournament, you can always go to the fence, wipe your face with the towel. Doesn't have to count as one of your timeouts and it can give you an extra sec to catch your breath. I've got a spare shirt in here, uh, just in case your shirt gets a little sweaty, which it probably will if you're playing a whole lot. Not a bad idea to have a spare shirt in there you can throw on. I've got a jump rope. This is a nice little tool to warm up with. Just kind of get your blood flowing um, before you start playing, before a tournament. Um, never hurts to throw that in there. This is one of my favorites. I've got a massage gun, especially for when I hurt my quad. Oh, it feels so nice to uh, turn this on and help massage out any of those sore muscles you have. Very, very nice to have, love to have it. And last but not least, of course, I've got a whole bunch of balls. Hard to play without some balls in your bag, so I've got some balls in here. And of course, now for the really juicy pockets, we've got the paddle pockets. Now this bag's really nice. It's actually got kind of a protective layer in here, protects your paddles from the heat and cold. If it gets too hold, the stuff that holds the edge guards in place can uh, can melt a little bit. So thank you, Yola, for protecting our paddles. I've got in here my Perseuses. These are the paddles I play with. I love them. They're very nice. Highly recommend them. Um, why do I have three paddles? This is my coaching paddle. It hits a whole lot of balls. Um, it's not exactly in tip-top shape anymore after the couple million balls it's hit. So then I keep two paddles that are in good uh, prime condition. And I use these when I play tournaments or when I play uh, high level games. Um, always nice to have two paddles with you, just in case, just in case. And in the other bag, I've got more paddles, yay! Um, these are all my demos. Always nice to have some demos around. I've got the Perseus, I've got some Scorpiuses. Um, also, fantastic paddles. Uh, nice for me to have demos around. People always ask to, uh, to borrow paddles, let them try them out. And of course, these paddles are so nice. I love putting them in people's hands. And I've got an old Hyperion. This is what I used to play with before the Perseus came out. Um, it's a great paddle, did a lot of great things for me. So I keep one of these in my bag. And we'll finish. We will finish the same way I'd finish on court by throwing those shoes back in your bag. If you are anything like me, your court shoes start to smell, especially as, after you've been playing. So you throw those in this nice kind of special pocket we've got for them, which has got that vent there. And then you get to wear your slides home, your feet are comfy, your shoes don't smell, that doesn't go everywhere. Uh, and life is good.